Hello, everyone, and welcome to this month's edition of In the Grove. I'm Sue Heaton, and I'm so happy for two reasons. First of all, our first time back in the studio, and that's a big event. I think it's been at least something like 15 months. But more importantly, our first guest back in the studio is Mayor Johnson. Welcome today, Mayor. We're so happy to have you. And you know, I was just thinking about a program that uh, was just featured on TV recently celebrating 50 years of Sesame Street. And they always have like a letter of the day or a word of the day. What would we say is the word of the day for all of our residents? Would it begin with the letter V? I think it's a great start. Yes, the big word today is vaccinate, vaccinate, vaccinate. Vaccinate. And you have to be congratulated on running a couple of great vaccination clinics here to help our citizens um, achieve that goal. Well, thank you. We're yeah. very excited. We got over 4,000 Elk gonna... Grove residents vaccinated. Uh, we started off with our senior group, 65 and over. And then we had our second round of vaccination was for anybody 16 years of age and over. over. So basically anyone eligible for wow. it. So it went very well. And you're exactly right. The key to doing what we are today, we've both been fully vaccinated. I was going to say, so here we sit, yep. no masks. Yep. And um, I'm a Pfizer. Everybody wants to know, what are you, May? I'm a Pfizer. Okay, also. we, we and, share that. We're and Pfizer. And that's the key. CDC has said that if you got vaccinated people together, they can then take the mask off. Don't worry about the distancing. We're doing everything within the guidelines that are out there. But the key is, Sue, more than anything else, for this community to get back to normal, yeah. to get back where we want to be, is vaccinate, mm -hmm. vaccinate, vaccinate. And we respect those that choose not to vaccinate. That's their right. But they don't have a right to infringe on our ability to get back to normal. Yeah. So we're getting back to normal. We're opening up. And we'll talk in a minute about it. But the governor's made a big announcement today. That was today, and the too. President. But... So the governor today, and today is May 6th. We film a little bit early sure. before the shows go because we have, you know, obviously Rotary Fest in June we'll talk about and our concerts in July. But today the governor announced that we're moving next week on the 13th of May to bridge phase. And then on June 11th, which is before Rotary Fest, before the concerts, we're going to be fully open. Isn't so, that just an amazing oh. feeling that considering what we have been through this last tremendous um, 15 months or more than that. It's been and, tough. But Mayor, you seem to have been a little bit farther ahead because I heard you on WGN radio about, seems like a month ago, make an announcement. And now the governor is saying something similar to what you announced then. Did you have a crystal ball? <laughs> well, you know, a lot of people have called me and yeah, what we announced was about a month ago, we announced that we're going to have a Rotary Fest. We're going to have concerts. It's going to be mask optional. You were that confident. Oh, yeah. The numbers are showing it. We, we, what really put me over the edge was two things happened. So, one, we had already started doing our vaccination clinics, both on the 65 and over, and we had just done our first 16 and over. So we had both pretty well covered. And what we found was in both uh, clinics, we had three to 400 vaccinations available for each clinic the day before we had it. And if you remember, people were driving to Quincy, Illinois. People were flying to Florida. Oh, yeah. If we had that many shots available and it was wide open to come in and get them, call the village. We had our staff sitting there twiddling their thumbs, waiting for phone calls. If we saw that many people not needing to get it, we knew the trend was going great. And then when the CDC announced that vaccinated people cannot carry nor transmit the disease, and then we see how effective the disease the uh, vaccine was, we felt confident. Because remember, we're 12 weeks away from our events. Sure. If they gained that much in the 12 weeks prior to my announcement, we knew 12 weeks after we're going to be there. And so that's why we felt very confident to announce. We said firm but flexible. So yeah. obviously some weird thing happened. We could change, but sure. we knew it wouldn't happen. We were very confident when we said, come to our events, no distancing, mask optional, you're going to come and enjoy a safe event. Because surrounding yeah. uh, communities were not announcing oh. some. Well, look at the grin on your face. Well, <laughs> and I talk to mayors all the time, a lot of mayors. And um, actually, I talked to the top Cook County health people. And they said, well, you know, we're going to call from all these mayors, all these mayors. I said, hey, I said, the numbers are shown we can do this. We're not talking about doing it tomorrow. We're talking months away. So we're following the trend. And I know, I know a lot of my fellow mayors 
have feel bad now because they canceled. You can't sure. do all these events together in two days. Well, I was it wondering, even when I heard the announcement on the radio, you had already lined up these bands? Oh, yeah. We're set. You were confident, we're, and oh, they were, we, they're ready to go. Oh, they're ready to go. These bands for our anxious. concert series, these are the bands we had last year. Now, we had to change out Casey's Sunshine Band with George Thorogood because Casey canceled the whole year. So, But we picked up George Thorogood just a couple weeks ago. And all oh, these bands are ready to go. They can't wait to play. Oh, I bet. They, they, they miss Everybody it. wants to get back oh. to whatever they were doing. And, you know, obviously, could some have happened otherwise? I guess it could have, but we knew it wouldn't. We, I honestly believe you that deep confident. in my heart that this is going to go forward. Yeah. Going to be coming. And let me ask you, we took a lot of heat, a lot of heat, editorials against us and all the rest. Now we're just waiting for all these people to come back and say, yep, Mayor, we're wrong. We apologize. You had the faith. We should have faith with you because we just felt confident on it. And I think now I'm happy it worked out this way. I'm very, the community should feel vindicated that the leadership would not do anything that's going to be bad or dangerous and have faith in us. We're going to do our homework. We didn't just announce this willy nilly. We waited for the announcements from CDC. We waited to see the numbers coming in. We waited to see firsthand what we had coming in. And we knew then. We're good to go. And so you sat with all the trustees and you put your heads together and said, what do you think? Yeah, we talked Should about we it. Should we be bold and make yeah. this announcement? Yeah, and they were unanimous. They all said, yep, let's go, let's go, let's go. And, you know, um, I wish I had that kind of yeah. luck when I was at the uh, gaming table or something <laughs> like that. I'd but, be a multi-billionaire. Yeah. But, yeah. no, we, again, Sue, so we always think of people first. We would never do anything that was going to be dangerous. We would never ever do anything that's going to harm this community. Well, first of all, these events are outdoors also, so that plays in positive favor. Right. Oh, sure. And like I say, we saw the numbers, we saw the trends, we knew we were going to be fine. And now, if the governor's announcement just today, he vindicates uh, what we did. <laughs> the the timing president of the United States better. has said, yeah. 4th of July, um, even Mayor Lightfoot from Chicago, we're opening July 4th. You know, sure. they're all, I so. just heard today coming over here, Ravinia's planning... So yeah. if Ravinia can. And I know some place saying, well, we're still going to be careful. Well, you don't have to. Governor said June 11th, fully open. No mass, no distancing. We're set to go. And the key again, yeah. Sue, and we've got time. It's only, it's early. Sure. Vaccination, vaccination, vaccination. The word of the day. And like I say, Osco told us on our last shot day, it was the second round. We said, well, what do we tell people they want to come in for the first shot? You don't have a second round coming. They said, Mayor, we're taking people walking in. Tell them just come to Jewel in three weeks after they get the Do shot. Do we there. know at this time what, oh, yeah. what they're giving out? Are they doing They're doing the, Pfizer still. Oh, Pfizer. And so walk in, they'll give you a shot. I had a resident tell me yesterday at their second vaccination day, she was at Sam's. There is a pharmacist standing at the door of Sam's. Oh, sure. Everyone walking in. Do you want to get vaccinated? Yeah. you want to get vaccinated? you want to get vaccinated? In case you haven't thought of it and yeah. you haven't done they, it. And they had it right there waiting. You can do it right now. So it, it's amazing. Think how far we came mm -hmm. in three months. Oh, yes. It's a, and, back in January, people were literally buying airplane tickets right. to fly to Florida to get in line to get vaccinated. We had people, I knew a gentleman, drove to Quincy 300 miles right. away. He drove to Quincy just to get vaccinated. I know. I had an opportunity like that. Oh, I don't know. Three hours down and it's not. Maybe I'll take a chance and wait a little longer, see if I can get anything in Arlington Heights, perhaps which happened so. to be the case. But we were, we were talking before about just how amazing these scientists, that they could do this in this amount of time. It's almost miraculous, isn't it? It, it is. It's a miracle. It yeah. truly is a miracle. And I know some people are worried, what's going to happen six months from now, a year from now? First off, look at what they were doing. This is not putting the virus in you. This is RDA. Right. This is tricking your brain and body to think you have the virus. Yeah, so the antibodies, antibodies get made naturally inside you. To fight it. Right. It's the safest science out there. And this is not new science. They've been using this idea and concept for some time. So they didn't invent a new idea. They just geared it toward this particular virus. And, and that's the key in this. Actually, I've said this before and I'll say it again now. I think the government made one big mistake. And that was when they shut down Johnson Johnson. They had six people out of seven million have Such an ailment. Such a tiny amount. Naturally, five people out of every million yeah. will get this. So what they did was they scared people needlessly. As you saw, a week later, oh, John Johnson's fine. Go mm -hmm. ahead, do it. Mm -hmm. They should have been a little more cautious. I understand they're, they're, they're overreacting on things. 
And that's the problem we're having, Sue. I cannot tell you how many people, even when they're fully vaccinated and CDC says you're fine, they're still wearing masks, they're yeah. still distancing, mm -hmm. no, and not for the other people. They're doing it for themselves. I'm saying, wait a minute, if you're vaccinated, you're safe. Now, I understand if you want to protect other people, but no, no, I'm protecting myself, Mayor. Well, you're vaccinated. If it doesn't work, why'd you get vaccinated to start with? Respect. We could have lived in masks forever and distance forever. You're fine. And those, again, I say, Sue, those that don't want to get vaccinated, I respect that. They can wear a mask. They can distance on if their they own. Need, yeah, for their but protection. We're not, we're not danger to them. to them. We're not going to give it to them. Mm. CDC has said that. We're not going to give it to them. Yeah. So, you know, if you want to be safe, I respect that. But the rest of us, this summer, we're coming oh, back. Oh, we're going to party? We're going to come um, back. And we might add, for any of the viewers that are hesitant, I'll speak for myself. I never even felt the injection, and I had no lingering side effects. Now, you may have had a different experience. Many people do. I was saying sure. my son did get a bad side effect. Uh, not a bad one, but he felt uh, sick. It, a little bit. Yep. Some people will report that, but it's not across the board. My daughter and I sailed right through. And compared to the possibility of getting this horrible disease. That's a thing. Especially, Sue, you and I, we're getting older. You know, we're seniors. We're older. Um, that's who the virus really attacked. It right. was targeted for older people, especially people with chronic illnesses. Sure. It went there. And I know some people have said to me, well, Mayor, you know, as we speak today, within a few days, I think they're going to lower it down to 12 to 15. We'll be eligible. But I saw today, actually, in the Daily Herald, they had in their editorial, nationwide, a total of 300 people under the age of 16 passed away from COVID. One person's too many, but 300 out of 650,000 that have passed away. Right. That is such a minuscule sure. number for that, that large of a population. Right. Reason being is everything I've read, and we get stuff all the time, this, vac this illness really targeted older people. It really did. And that's where you saw the nursing homes, all the rest get it. Oh, what a young horrible people, time. Young people are strong. Matter of fact, one report I saw, more kids die from the flu every year than have mm -hmm. died from COVID, COVID in 15 months. And so the kids, luckily for this illness, are pretty well protected. And so, again, I tell people, we didn't shut schools down for the flu, yet the kids have more chance of dying from the flu than they do the COVID. Yes. So, so we've got to get our mindset back to reality, mm -hmm. understand we now protected seniors. Sure. We're pretty well, high percentage have been vaccinated, senior, very high, in the 80s in this area. Um, and the younger people, 40s, 50s, 60s, they're catching up now. And again, I, I feel confident. I've got grandkids, eight yes, of them now. Yes, you do. I just eight. had my eighth one on Monday. <laughs> and so, <laughs> yeah, a little girl, Lily, was born on uh, oh, May 3rd. Third. And so... Um, and in fact, one of my grandsons, uh, little Logan, who's three and a half, That's his wonderful. mom and dad yeah. both had it. She was pregnant with Lily when she got oh, my daughter. Oh, that had to be scary. Got through it fine. Little Logan got it. Only way he found out he had it was they tested the whole family. Yeah. Logan was a preemie baby, severe asthma. He Every morning, every night, he has to use an innovator. And he got COVID. Oh, God, You'd that think, had to be worrisome. Never knew he was sick. See? Isn't Never knew you were sick, perfectly fine, mm -hmm. and so. So what I'm saying is young people, for some Cruising reason, which through. is good, seem to be pretty yeah. strong against okay. this. So our view is this, as we talked, and we're going to talk about the shows in a minute. We're opening up. Again, if you want to wear a mask, we're going to have masks there for you. We'll give you a mask. Oh. You. If you want to distance at our events, you can distance. We're going to have spaces for you. So if anyone's concerned, we're going to watch out for the needs. But for the rest of the people that feel comfortable, feel vaccinated, safe, come enjoy yourself. Yeah. We'll be close. And the governor just announced everything keeps going yeah. the way it is. June 11th, he could do it anyway. Well, I think the more and more we hear this from all these different people in a very uh, authoritative position, we'll also build some confidence that we might be ready now to step into what we used to be. Don't be so scared. And that's a problem. People have been so beaten for a year and a half. COVID, COVID, COVID. You know, death, death. We got to get away from that. Okay. We got to realistically, realistically mm -hmm. open up and get back to normal. We need it. Because I'm telling you, we got that CARES program in Oak Grove. We saw people coming for alcoholism um, jump dramatically during this time. And I know the state set records for overdose deaths 
from COVID, I mean, from uh, opioids. We heard during about this time. suicides. Suicides. I mean, it's now we're getting to the point where the COVID's getting under control, but we've built up this anxiety to a level. We got to get that under control. We know how important, at least in, in the industry of health and fitness, that socialization is yes. as important as what we eat. If you isolate people, it, it will really can shorten their lives and just dramatically play on their mental health. And Mayor, before we get into the fun part, we just need to recognize the, the medical staff in this community, all those first line people that through these months, they must have been so mentally drained and uh, facing something they never probably were, were trained for. What can we say to all the medical people uh, to express? Um, well, we can't give them a front row seat at the concert. We, well, we can't thank them enough. Um, and, you know, you're right. The last pandemic was 103 years ago. Yeah. I mean, no one trains for it. No sure. one's prepared for it. But our people, and I know Lexian Brothers, and our firemen, policemen, public yeah. works, all of our people, they stepped up so strongly so admirably, you can't say enough about it. And even their help at the vaccination clinics. We had more people say, Mayor, your people are so nice, so caring. We had wheelchairs, we wheeled them in, stood with them, helped them, got them back to the car. We had someone help someone in the bathroom. Just, you know, a young man. I mean, we just, but that's the quality people we have. And they just been on, but they're happy. I'll give you an example. We made a special ambulance during COVID that would only handle COVID patients. Reason being is we could quickly disinfect it so it could oh. go out again. And uh -huh. so that ambulance in January did 63 calls. The first two weeks of April, it did two. We've now shut that ambulance down. That's how far we've come. Mm -hmm. But to show our people thinking ahead outside the box, they came up with that idea back last year to get a special ambulance that could make it safe for everybody involved, mm -hmm. get them to the hospital, give them the help they need. So our people just thought outside the box. Our policemen, how they handled situations with their masks, and gloves when they had to interact with people because issues still went on and they had to be there for sure. them, did it. I know our public works guys with the waters and other things they had to do on top of it and election brothers, phenomenal. During the height six months ago, they had 150 COVID patients in there on a day and 25 people on a ventilator, minimum. Now, almost nobody. So, I mean, they've done great, but how they adjusted, adapt and set up, it's just beyond belief. But that's what got us through this. Our people, were willing to think outside the box, think of ways. They didn't shy from it. They stayed involved. They came to work. They didn't stay home. They knew their responsibility, and they did it. And they did a phenomenal job. So that's why we have the green ribbons out there. I was just going to tell and you, last short, week, can I admit? Oh, did I take mine off too well, soon? Well, keep it, though. Here's oh. why. We're planning something special as we come out of this pandemic. If you don't have your ribbon anymore, we got ways you can turn in something green. But I plan on doing something special oh. myself personally. Because I had that feeling, people. okay, we're kind of through this now. I'm cleaning up my yard. I'm going to take this nightmare. Still a lot of them out there. And, yeah. There there, oh, there so are. Yeah. We're going to be announcing in the next couple of weeks of something we're going to do special to celebrate this community coming out of this pandemic. Oh. To come back as a community we all have love a and big enjoy. Ribbon cutting. And <laughs> we're going to have everyone, everyone's going to bring the ribbon to an event. And I'll say now. I'm going to be giving out $100, I will personally be giving out $100 gift certificates to Elk Grove Village restaurants. I'll be pulling names out, numbers sure. out. So you turn your ribbon in, you we'll get give it. you a little number, and then I'll be drawing these numbers out, and people will be getting $100 gift wow. certificates for Elk Grove restaurants. Wow. And, yeah. and I that's think the way, way to, to take the ribbons down and to say this Thank you. is over. But not yet. Don't. Yeah. We'll oh. be announcing that. So hang on to your ribbon. And if not that, you it was just a moment. I was pulling out dandelions, and I saw the green ribbon. I'm going to let you turn in something else green, okay? In case you don't have a ribbon, <laughs> everyone's going to get a chance for these certificates, and I will be buying them, and I'll be giving them out. So we support our restaurants who went through a tough time. We can go back together, enjoy a restaurant together, and we're going to have a good time. So okay. we'll be doing that very All right. Shortly. So talking of good times. Yes. Concerts. So you announced even before we heard what we heard on the news today from others. They will be going on. Yes. Go Our summer, Midsummer Concert Classic Series is going to happen. We're partnering with the parts as we always do. It's called Unity Within the Community. And more than ever before, we need that unity back in this community. And so we're going to be kicking that off on July 4th. We have uh, Daughtry coming. Chris Daughtry, the former winner of the American Idol. Huge, uh, huge performer. He's going to do the 4th of July. 
We're going to be announcing shortly. We're going to do a little something special with our fireworks on the 4th. Since so many communities cancel them, we're going to be putting on a show you've never seen okay, in Elk Grove, have a <laughs> Beyond Belief. So that's going to kick us off on the 4th of July over at Rotary oh. Green. And we're prepared for large crowds to come, which is going to make us very happy. Community coming together. So we're going to be ready for that. And then on July 13th, we're going to have our first concert at the town center. And we were going to have KC Sunshine Band, but they did cancel out for the whole summer. So we got George Thorogood and the Destroyers coming. Mm -hmm. And Bad to the Bone. and oh. oh, yeah. He'll be there. And we'll be back that. Then July 20th, we have Loverboy coming. Hey, he'll draw we'll a crowd. doing that crowd. Remember last year we changed them because we had Brett Michaels coming. That's right. But he's going out with Poison, his original band. So Loverboy's filling in, and they're a great band. And the big one. Well, yeah. We the real them, big yeah, one. That we wanted last July 27th. Who would ever have thought? But we got Mike Love, the original Beach Boy, and the original Beach Boys coming to Elk Grove Village Boy. on July 27th. Oh, pack the house for that oh. one. I didn't think um, about it, so we're old enough. You well, and I. Well, I have a T-shirt that says, I might be old, but I live to see all the cool bands, right? And they were the cool bands, oh, Beach Boys. The Beach, I always tell people, there's three iconic bands in this world. The Beatles, Rolling Stones, Stones and, and the, the Beach, Beach Boys. Boys. Obviously, Beach or I mean, Beatles aren't out. Rolling Stones out. We can't quite get, you know, love again. I would make them, but yeah. Oh, man, yeah. We've got the Beach Boys Boy, coming. I yeah. mean, think about when you and I were younger, kids growing up. What we would have given to have the Beach Boys in our town playing at Elk Grove. Oh, help me, Rhonda. I mean, oh. <laughs> so, but yep, they'll finish up the summer concert series, and we're so excited about it. And Think of the businesses. Oh. Um, will they be able to handle all the crowd? It's, I mean, it's so nice. Um, you know, you go to Good Tequila or Coach's Corner or Buffalo Wild Wings. They're packed on our concert nights, after our concerts. Uh, Jimmy John, Jersey Mike's. A subway, people come, you see them walk in the back. And of course, we allow people to bring their own drinks. Yeah. So, Walgreens, Jewel. Yeah, they all I benefit. Mean, they get the beer, they get wine. People come sit with the coolers, they enjoy, they relax. It's like Ravinia here in Oak Grove. Uh, and it's phenomenal. Again, it's it costs great. nothing, it's free. I always tell people, Sue, if you stay in Oak Grove Hotel, if you play yeah, a video game, or, smoke, or you smoke, you're thank paying. you, because you're the ones yeah, that right. pay 100% the cost. Are you going to do it like in the past with early seating? You have to be at a certain time, and then you can... We're working on getting that done. done. Yep, we're working so people can get their good seats. Okay, that so works out well. That will 3 o'clock. Always happens at 3 yeah. o'clock the day of the concert. So that, you know, Murray and EMG, they get everything set up, everything ready to go. So we get that done. And so we're excited about it. And if I can, put a little plug in from July or June 16th. Sorry, June 16th, June 20th. Roadie Fest will be going, going on. on. June 16th after June 11th, so it'll be, they're going to be open to mask optional. You're making this sound like so, a normal summer here in Elk Grove. We are. They're going to have the carnival. They're going to have yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. They're going to have bands going, and they're going to have food. Well, what about our community parade that was moved to the fall? Will we look that forward to that? Oktoberfest is still being played here in Elk Grove. We're going to probably do a little special fireworks, maybe tied probably to that Probably you will. Uh, Rotary mm -hmm. Fest is going to have a little bigger, better fireworks display than usual. We're really coming out with a bang here in oh. Elk Grove. And so October is going to take place for this Friday and Saturday night in September, always the third weekend. And um, we're going to have a parade. It's going to take place on that Saturday. And we're going to have fireworks. I mean, we're coming back to gangbusters. Well, yeah, it sounds like it. Yes. We've got to. We've got to get that. You are going back. to be the, or we are going to be the envy of the Northwest suburbs. And again, I, I feel for my other mayors. <laughs> they should have waited. I told some. <laughs> I told you off. So. Hold yeah. off, hold off. You could always cancel. You can't sometimes hire them back fast. So I bet today, especially hearing this other announcement, that they're very. Look well, at you! You just grin every well, time you think about I, it. I just feel good because we got to get back to normal. And Elk Grove this summer is back to normal. Because remember, we're still having our Memorial Day event. That's still happening. You know, and at that event, it, the sign does say masks will still be required for yes. that one because we're still It's in still May. new enough. It's still indoors. We'll, we'll put everybody in there, so distancing, but we're going to still require masks. And if we should change your mind beforehand, we take it down. But we want to be safe. Again, we're firm but flexible. But right now, I feel pretty darn that we're firm 
we're having all of our events and we're back to normal. And I'm just sitting here envious that you will personally get to shake hands with the Beach Boys. Well, not all of us in the audience. No, will get we that won't be able to do that. And he may not oh, shake my oh, hand. Oh, that's right. We still can't shake hands. Yeah, he may not shake hands. Uh, but you he, will have that closer. You'll we'll be able to say hi. You might get your picture. And with the bands, we will respect their concerns if they have any. But oh, the bottom sure. line is, they will be on stage. Yeah. They, they will be performing, and we will have. A and I just bet they'll number. be giving their all because, like you said, oh, they yeah. can't wait to get out and do they want their do performance oh, again. Yeah. They contact, they contact yeah. DMG, Murray and that, all the time, asking what's going on. We're set to play. We're set to go. We're set to have them. Well, your excitement that you have brought here today, I mean, you are just so filled with it. Oh, I, and it's, it's, it's good, good to see you in good health and your family. Came Everyone's through. doing Everyone, well. Good and health. I know, Sue, your family. I kept checking yes, on Kimmy. Yeah, yeah, thank She's you. She's doing well. Oh, well, she'd um, be happy she, yeah. that you even mentioned her. And I say, I had my eighth grandchild just two days ago. What a happy. And a can't happy, be happier happy, that yeah, uh, we're doing well. You so, are very doing, and the village is doing good. The and, village is doing very well. We held up very good, well during the financial impact. We did well. Our business park did real well. Um, our community is going well. Our numbers were always one of the communities with the lowest numbers of people infected. We we're just fortunate. Maybe all this good stuff we do we are healthier maybe than anybody else. I don't know. But we're doing great. And again, I'm excited. We're back. Oh, we Elk can Grove tell you back. are excited. And just a reminder, the word of the day is vaccinate, vaccinate, vaccinate. vaccinate yes. No excuse not to. Right. Um, it's there. Walk in and get your shot, yep. everybody, and, uh, and stay healthy. And safely join all of us for someone mm -hmm. to remember. Well, thank you for bringing your excitement and all this news um, to the program today. It's just wonderful. Thank you for all the efforts you and everyone put forth to get us through these months, and even what you're going to do with this little green ribbon, that sounds kind of fun. We too. have a lot of fun. That it never ends. Be coming. That'll be coming very soon, I promise. Yeah, your thinking never ends. Always yeah. thinking out of the box. Thank, Thank you again, you. Mayor Johnson, for being Thank with us. Thank you, Sue. And we will be right back with the remainder of our program. I think we did probably. Well, everyone, I hope you got as much information out of that as I did. Uh, we really thank the mayor for bringing all that excitement and passion that he always does to the program. This is a lot of uh, important information that we heard today. Certainly you understand uh, from him the importance of becoming vaccinated. If it is something that you think you want to do, please don't hesitate. Everyone just believes that um, it's the right thing to do so the community can come back together even sooner. And look at all we have to look forward to this season. Uh, something we've been looking forward to certainly from this past year of being deprived, of being together, and everything we had so come to enjoy. So mark your calendars for all these many events. It's like Elk Grove is really back, and the mayor and the trustees are going to make sure it's a very special summer for all of us. So we hope that all of you that are watching and all of your loved ones are in good health, that this experience has brought you all closer together, our community closer together. Again, we can't thank all of the, uh, the first responders, the uh, paramedics, everyone that works in the medical field for all they have done all they have sacrificed uh, on their own, for their own families to help all of us through this um, unspeakable time that's um, part of our history now. So as we begin to put this in our past and look forward to this summer, you know, just join in to whatever level that you'll feel comfortable with. Bring those lawn chairs and mark your calendars, as we said, and look forward to the many events coming to Elk Grove Village this summer. And as always, here the staff at, at, the, uh, at EGTV wants to thank you for taking time to watch this and the many programs that they bring to you. So we wish you the best, and we look to see you at uh, this year's summer concert. So enjoy, everyone, and we will talk to you next month.